So the first thing you want to do is paint your thumb and pinky with a coat of black nail polish. You can use whatever polish you prefer, but I used OPI's Black Onyx. But my camera decided not to record that for me, so sorry guys. On my middle finger I paint a coat of Wet n Wild Lure since it's a nice tan color that kind of works for a skin tone. Then I use OPI's Rising Star to paint just the tips of my ring and index fingers. You can make this tip as thick or as thin as you want, but I usually choose to just paint the white part of my nail. I know there's probably a real name for that, but I just don't know what it is. Then I take a regular bobby pin in that same color and start by making a trapezoid shape on my thumb. To draw these designs I usually use a kind of dabbing method to slowly build the shape. Then to finish the badge, I add in two diagonal lines on either side that form a kind of incomplete diamond shape. I used a reference picture to do this, so I just kind of went off of that. Next, I use Essie's Marshmallow White and that same bobby pin and use it to draw basically a target on my pinky finger, starting with a dot in the center of the nail and adding rings around that dot to mimic the radar effect of Lynn's seismic sense. You can add as many rings as, you, as will fit on your nail. Only two fit on mine, sadly. <laughs> Next, using black onyx again, I'm going to draw two sets of diagonal parallel lines on both my ring and index fingers. These are meant to be Lynn's metal bending cables. You can place them really anywhere you want or at any angles, but make sure when you cross lines to leave a little space before and after the line you cross so it's clear that there are two separate lines and not just crisscrosses everywhere.
Then on my middle finger, I'm going to try to recreate Lynn's scars. And I start with white Urple Purple from OPI and use the bobby pin to draw the general shape of the scars, which are basically two uneven parallel diagonal lines that start from one side of your nail and stop about halfway across. Then I go over them with Aphrodite's Little Pink Nighty, also from OPI, to make them stand out a little bit more against the tan background. And there you have it, a cool nail design inspired by ex-chief of police Lin Beifong from The Legend of Korra.